Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about the realization of NAND gate using diode transistor logic, resistor transistor logic. If time permits, I will also explain about the transistor transistor logic. So, as I said, there are three different logics we can design the NAND gate. One is diode transistor logic. Second one, resistor transistor logic. And third one, transistor transistor logic. Let us start the first one, DTL. DTL stands for D means diode, transistor, logic. That means the NAND operation can be implemented with the combination of diodes and transistors. If you see the unrealization, the unrealization, same unrealization we are extending with a transistor. Because transistor gives 180 degrees complement. That means the NAND output is connected to inverter and then it gives you the NAND operation. AND output is given, passing through NOT gate, then it will give you NAND operation. So, the first one we are having diodes in the reverse bias condition. Reverse bias means in the backward direction. The outputs of these two are connected together to VCC. Now we are having from the same point an inverter circuit. Okay, already we have seen the inverter circuit with the help of transistor in the previous videos. The output of this one is given to transistor. We are taking the output from the collector of this transistor. So, this is R and let it be RL. So, A and B, these are the two inputs we are giving. Diode D1 and D2 and let it be the transistor, some transistor Q. Now, we are giving some plus 5 volts VCC supply here. Let us see the operation with respect to the diode on off conditions and truth table. Diode D1, D2 and what is the status of T and output. If A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0. A equal to 0, B equal to 0 means either it may be low or high. So, 0 means low supply, high means logic 1. So, 0 means the diode is for P type P terminal of the diode is connected to P terminal means this one, N terminal means this one, P terminal, N terminal. D1, D2, both the diodes are connected in the same direction. Both the P terminals of these two diodes are connected to VCC, that means it is having the required supply. Whereas on the other hand, we are having N type terminals are connected to A and B. Now, in this case, we are giving 0, 0. So, 0, 0 means E. There is a potential difference P2N which is 5 volts. So that is why diodes D1, D2 both are on state. As both the diodes are in on state, transistor simply becomes off because the current is flowing from VCC directly to this transistor and then it will go to the ground. So as the transistor is off, the maximum power supply will be appeared across this collector. So, output is equal to transistor is off. So, output is equal to logic 1. Okay. When this transistor was not there in the previous uh, and operation, when this transistor and this resistor was not there, then output we have taken from this point, then output is logic 0. But now, there is an inverter through a transistor. That is why we will be having logic 1. Similarly, 0, 1. If any one of the diodes is in on state, that makes the transistor to be switched off. So, if 0, 1 means diode D1 on, D2 off. 1, 0 means diode D1 off, D2 on. That makes the transistor off. Then what happens? Output is logic 1. But when we are having 1, 1, for A and B, diodes D1 and D2, that means we are having plus 5 volts on the end side for A and as well as for the 
diode D2. Then what happens? There is no potential difference. Here plus 5 volts we are giving on the right hand side and the left hand side also we are giving plus 5 volts. So that's why the potential difference is 0. That cannot be sufficient to switch on the transistor diodes D1 and D2. Okay. Then what happens? Diode D1 and D2 becomes both of as both are of transistor comes into on because the, the current cannot flow in this direction but the current is having a path that goes to the input base of this transistor Q. So what happens to the transistor? Transistor comes into on state. Then output is equal to 0 because the entire current goes through this collector it cannot go to the output. So output is equal to 0. Or else we can also say if any capacitance is there that capacitance previously discharged due to off stage of the transistor but now as the capacitor is not having any power supply then it discharges through the on transistor so output is equal to 0. Generally output we will measure across the capacitor in any circuit. So that's why this is the truth table of a NAND gate which is designed from the diode transistor logic. Diode transistor logic. Okay. So, we can also design an inverter. So, I will ask a question here. Can we design, can we design NOT gate, can we design NOT gate using NAND, using NAND, can we design NOT gate using NAND, yes we can. Yes, we can design NOT gate. How to design NOT gate? Yes. How to design that? Suppose if you see the truth table like A, B and Y, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1, 1. Output is 1, 1, 1 and 0. If you take inputs as short circuited, See, if I am short circuiting the input, that means both the inputs are either 0 or both inputs may be either 1. Okay. So, what happens in that case? Suppose I am having a NAND gate by short circuiting the inputs. I am short circuiting the input. Let it be something like X. What is the output Y? It should be X bar. It should be X bar. Okay. See, when both the inputs are short circuited, sorry, in not this one, we can say in this way. See here. See. When both the inputs are short circuited, the possible case may be this one or this one. If both the inputs are 0, output is logic 1. If both the inputs are 1, output is logic 0. Okay, if input is 1, x is equal to 1, that gives 1 here, 1 here, that makes the output is equal to 0. If input is equal to 0, that will give 0 here and 0 here, so output is equal to logic 1. In this way, we can design a simple NOT gate using this two input NAND operation. Okay. Now, let us see one more operation. NAND gate can also be acting as a controlled inverter. NAND gate can also be acting as a controlled inverter. NAND gate yes a controlled inverter controlled inverter so if you see the same truth table see truth table is very important if you are having truth table in your mind then you can design any type of logic circuit so 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 1 0 then see I am taking a NAND gate. For this NAND gate, 
one input I am fixing it to logic high and another input I am taking for the input. So when one input is fixed to logic 1, one input for this not NAND gate is fixed to logic 1. What is the output? See, if input is equal to 0, the, if the other input is 0, output is 1. If the other input is 1, output is equal to 0. That means we have a control on this particular NAND gate to act as an inverter. Okay. So, if let it be something like uh, uh, other input, control input C. If C is equal to 1, if C is equal to 1, we can say Y is equal to X complement. If C is equal to 0, can you say what it is? Y is equal to? If C is equal to 0, Y is equal to? There is no operation. There is no specific operation. Okay. So, we have a control here when C is equal to 1, Y is equal to X bar. That is the way how to design a control inverter in the NAND gate. Now, let us see the RTL realization using this NAND gate. Second type of realization which is nothing but resistor transistor logic. Resistor transistor logic. So, resistor transistor logic. How to design a NAND gate using this resistor and transistor? So, in this circuit, we will be having a resistor with two transistors. How many number of inputs are there? That many transistors we should use in this case. So, I am taking two inputs A, B. For those two inputs, these are the two transistors. Must be in series. They should be connected in series. This is A, B and this is R plus VCC which is nothing but plus 5 volts we are giving and output we are taking from the collector Y this R1 R2 now take the same situation A B Y something like 0 0 and you can also imagine the status of you can also note down the status of these two transistors T1 and T2 along with the inputs 0 1 1 0 1 1. Now, when input A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, that makes the transistors T1 and T2 to switch off. So, both the transistors are off state. So, when both are off, output Y is equal to 1 because the current cannot flow downwards, it goes to the output. So, output is equal to 1. And A is equal to 0. So, T1 is in off state, T2 is in on state. So, when T1 is in off state, T2 is in on state, again it is open circuited, so output is equal to 1. Again it is on, it is off, then also output equal to 1. If any one of the transistors is off, then output is equal to logic 1. Now see, for the last case, when both inputs are 1, 1, output is, uh, uh, both the transistors are on, then that makes the output to be 0 because both the transistors are on, there is a current flow, the static current flow from VCC to ground. Okay. In this way, we can design, we can design NAND gate using resistor transistor logic. Resistor transistor logic. Okay. See, in the examinations, if you are asked to design, if you are asked to explain the operation of DTL or TTL or in RTL, then you have to draw this circuit and take first situation, situation 1, what happens when A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0. You have to write in terms of matter instead of uh, table, table also you can draw, but you have to write in terms of matter statements. When A is equal to 0, B is equal to 0, then the transistor T1 and T2 comes into off states so that there is a current flow from output VCC to the output. So, output is equal to one in such a way you need to explain stage by stage <coughs> okay thank you